I envisioned that day. That was going to be so cool. Well, it finally happened that the darn things were made out of silk. <laughs> I was so disappointed, I almost turned around and went back the other way. <coughs> By then, of course, you're so glad that the race is over. So, If you think about it, of course, the, the flowers are made out of silk. Otherwise, they wouldn't last any length of time. So I was fortunate to receive that a few times. But I use that as an example of not only visualize winning or success, but what really actually matters more from a human point of view is what you do with that success. Where do you go from there? It's, and, and I use that in, in a lot of my team building talks and my motivational speeches. Is let yourself visualize success. Let yourself get to where you, where you make all the money you want or have the car you want or, or be as successful as you possibly want to see yourself. But really more important is what you're going to do with that success because that's going to be what, what judges you. doesn't matter how many games you won, how many diplomas you have, how many uh, times you have done it. Ultimately, what matters the most is how you have achieved what you achieved. And that's where, the, that's where the true pride comes in. That's where when your peers judge you, hopefully they will say he did it right. There's a few people in this race that will, would drive over their mother in order to win and never look back. They have very little respect. And then there are some people that have given their jackets off their backs and have never won the race and are as much of a champion as some people that have won the Adidas. So, but that's that. We don't need to do that sort of speech here, but it's, it's, it's heartfelt. And of course, I've been fortunate to have great dogs such as Blondie and Fearless that have led me to a couple of victories. In, 94 is probably the most uh, incredible race for me simply because that yielded two, two records. Um, and I, I can just tell the story in an hour or I can tell it in a few minutes. It's, to me, it's, a, it's a, very much like the 91 story. The 02 story is very much important to my family. 9-11, it was Tuesday morning when the second plane hit the the tower at 7 a.m. in Alaska. I was on my way to a rotary meeting. I turned around, kept my wife, my kids home, and I said, this is a big deal. I had been Alaskan for over 25 years, and I was honoring the state, and I, I had great honors such as representing the state of Alaska with my dogs at the inaugural parade for presidential elections. I was, I was Alaskan through and through, but this was a bigger deal. That very afternoon, I sent off our naturalization papers, and of course, long story short, and I can I can really draw it out. But long story short is we started our private swearing-in ceremony uh, downtown Anchorage at the day of the Adirondack start, and I carried my first American flag and the paperwork to be signed by the judge in Nome at the finish line. That year, I set the record that still stands to this day, and go in the books for having the fastest Adirondack in. Eight days, 22 hours, 46 minutes, and two seconds, but it was counting. <laughs> and also have the swearing in ceremony that lasted well over 10 days. So those two records are probably, uh, hopefully, stand for a while. Uh, Luna on our far left, Kira and Bronson are the three lead dogs that, because I couldn't decide who's, who, who had the great honor to pull me across the finish line, or I had the great honor to be behind, of, uh, I put those three <coughs> leaders. Uh, in, in the team to, to come across the finish line first. They quickly made a rule that you can only have two leaders in the, in the winning end across the finish line. So Bronson and Kira uh, ended up being the, the champions of 02 and they got the yellow roses uh, that particular year. And my wife gave me permission to go again next year. <laughs> so with any luck, I'll, um, I'll do a little better than I did this year. Thank you very much for your attention. And that was only two hours. See, I can go on for days. I, there's usually lots of questions, and feel free to ask lots of questions. Um, I shall be here. I, I think if you don't mind, we'll give everybody a comfort break, have some cake, have some snacks. Come on back in here. Excellent. And then we'll...
take questions, pictures, autographs. Great, that sounds good. Okay. Okay.